gonna show you guys how to achieve um, this updo look incorporating a braid in the front. And uh, let me show you guys how to achieve this look. So I'm gonna begin by parting Heidi's hair in the middle. So what I'm doing, I'm kind of keeping all the baby hairs falling around the face and also around the back as well, so it looks very natural and very organic looking. When you, when you guys are done parting the hair in the middle, you want to do a low ponytail in the back here, like so. And typically, if you do already have really long hair, this look would be ideal, but if you don't, also feel free to use any type of hair extensions. Um, today, I'm gonna probably be using hair extensions just because Heidi's hair is a bit on the shorter side, so we wanna do a full wrap with the braid around to look like a crown, so I would suggest using extensions if you don't have long enough hair. And in the back here, I'm gonna separate the hair into two sections, and I'm gonna bobby pin them both down. And also make sure that when you're bobby pinning the bobby pins into the hair. You want to make sure that the bobby pins crisscross just to kind of secure the hair in place so when you're out for the evening nothing falls out and you're not devastated. And what I like about this look is that you could actually um, dress it up and also dress it down. So if you wanted to wear this look with a pair of jeans with a nonchalant blouse, by all means it would complement it. But if you wanted to wear a backless dress as well, I think it's beautiful with it as well. So here's the extensions that I'm going to be using on Heidi. And I'm not really particular about what exactly what kind of hair extension you have at home, just as long as it's long and thick and achieves that full um, regal look that we're um, showcasing right now. So now I'm going to go in and use some paste to define some of the pieces that are left out and just to kind of clean everything up and take out any type of frizz that is occurring into her hair right now. And um, right now we're just kind of tweaking and working around the, the braid. And this is where you guys get creative. So use your judgment and start pinning anything that you feel is not flattering for your face or if you're not feeling comfortable and you want a little bit of hair falling around the face just because you feel insecure with exposing too much face, then feel free to kind of drop more hair down if you feel like it. And so when you're basically done bobby pinning everything and making sure that everything's secure and you're happy with the way everything looks, finish it off with a little bit of hairspray just to kind of lock it in and seal everything in place. And there you go. 